Welcome to Cooking with Bobby Joe. Today we're going to be making Mongolian beef in the crock pot. This is a recipe I experimented with by making it reduced sodium, reduced sugar. You can use any type of beef strip you want. You can use flank steak, which is what most people use for this recipe. I always buy what is on sale and these beef top sirloin steaks are what I got. They were actually cheaper than any of the others, which is rare for sirloin. The recipe calls for one and a half pounds, but I only got 1.21 pounds. I'm going to cut my steak into strips and I'm going to be cutting it against the grain. And if you aren't sure what that means, I'll try to explain it and I hope you can see this in the video. If you look at the steak closely, you can see the direction that the muscle fibers run. And all cutting against the grain means is you're cutting the meat across the muscle fibers instead of with them. If you cut with the grain, the meat will be chewier, and cutting against the grain makes the meat more tender. In some meats, the grain runs in different directions, so you just have to pay attention to which way it's running so you make sure you're always cutting against the grain. So sometimes you have to cut in a couple of different directions depending on which way the grain's running. I have a steak here that does that. You want a sharp knife when cutting meat, and I'm going to spend some time sharpening my knives next week. I used a honing steel on this knife today to make it a little better, but they need sharpening. I will do a video on how to use a honing steel. I usually sharpen my knives every couple of months, but y'all, I've fallen behind on it. I haven't done it since I've been battling COVID, and that's been over a year now. And these knives are getting duller and duller. So I will do a video on how to do it for those of you who have never sharpened your knives because I know there are some out there, especially in my family, that need to do this. Okay, now that the beef is cut into strips, I'm going to place the strips in a bowl and I'm going to add a third a cup of cornstarch. Actually, since I'm using under one and a half pounds, I should have probably only done a fourth of a cup of cornstarch. A third of a cup may be a little too much. If my sauce gets too thick from the extra cornstarch, I will just add a little extra water to it. So you just toss your beef strips in the cornstarch until they're all coated. In the next step, I'm going to mix everything inside the crock pot. And some people mix it in a bowl, then pour it into the crock pot, whatever you prefer. I'm just trying not to dirty too many dishes. So I'm going to mix one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. One teaspoon of minced garlic. One teaspoon of ground ginger. A half a cup of soy sauce. And I'm using low sodium which is still 570 milligrams of sodium per serving. The bottle says that it's 45% less sodium than the regular soy sauce. But 570 milligrams per serving is still a lot, but not nearly as much as regular soy sauce. Next, add in a half a cup of water. I'm also using a third a cup of brown sugar, but I'm using Truvia. I'm trying to avoid sugar, and Truvia still has a little sugar. It has two grams per serving. If you want zero grams, you can use Swerve brown sugar. It has zero grams. The store was out of that, so I went with Truvia instead. And it has 75% fewer calories than regular brown sugar, too. Mix all the ingredients together, then pour in the beef and coat it with a sauce mixture. Then cover and cook on high for two to three hours, or you can cook it on low for four to five hours. I will come back in two hours and check on it. Okay, so we've been cooking this for actually about two and a half hours, and I want mine to have a little thinner sauce, so I'm gonna add in a third a cup of water, and then I'm gonna mix it all together. I like to have a little extra sauce to pour over the rice. I like it to be thinner, kind of like a gravy, but you can do it however you like. I'm going to let this cook on low for 30 more minutes, and in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and cook some rice to serve this over. I'm using long grain white rice. I'm doing four cups of water, two cups of rice. I'm cooking extra because tomorrow we will be making fried rice with the leftovers to go with our sesame chicken. That video will be up next week. I have this beef base that I'm going to add to the water. It is one teaspoon per one cup of water, so four teaspoons for four cups. 
It's basically a paste that turns into a broth and it gives the rice a beefy flavor. They also have it in chicken flavor. I use it a lot in the fall and winter when I cook soups and beans. I'm also adding in a half a tablespoon of butter. I let the water come to a boil and then I add in my rice. I give it a stir, then I turn the heat down to low, cover it with a lid, and I let it simmer until the water is all absorbed. It usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes for white rice. Brown rice takes longer. You don't want to remove the lid or stir it while it's cooking. You just keep a check to see if the water has absorbed. And once all the water is absorbed, you can use a fork and you can fluff it up. Now that the rice is done, let's check on the beef. See, doesn't that look good? Now I'm going to add in my green onions and then serve it over some rice. This meal was so delicious and it definitely gets the drool worthy stamp of approval. We served it with some cream cheese wontons and I'll link the video in the description. We did both fried and air fryer and it took me a few tries and I figured out the best way to do them in the air fryer and they were actually better than the fried wontons. So check that video out. Stay tuned Friday for the Lake Hill City Birds. I've had close to 30 different birds visit my yard and I'm going to show you as many as I can in one video. Well, thanks for watching and as always, have a very blessed week.